students exercise 6.4 fourth problem find the direction cosines of the straight line passing through the points 5 comma 6 comma 7 and 7 comma 9 comma 13 also find the parametric form of vector equation and cartesian equations of the straight line passing through the two given points okay see first what is asked direction cosines of the straight line passing through the points so how many points are given two passing points are given so we'll take the first point as x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 the second point okay so what we have to find what is asked direction cosines of the straight line passing through these two points okay so before moving to the direction cosines we have to find what is the direction ratios of the straight line okay so uh, here the direction ratios of the straight line passing through two given points or how it will be x1 minus x2 comma y1 minus y2 comma z1 minus z2 and x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 so we'll take here so x1 is 5 5 minus 7 the next 6 minus 9 7 minus 13 or otherwise 7 minus 5 9 minus 6 13 minus 7 so you will get minus 2 minus 3 minus 6 and 2 comma 3 comma 6 these are nothing but the direction ratios of the straight line passing through two given points okay now what is asked direction cosines okay direction cosine formula is x by r y by r and z by r what is r r is the modulus of the vector whose direction cosines has to be found okay here direction ratios are given so i'm going to find the modulus of the corresponding vector for this so modulus of 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap or either you can take this or this so whose modulus both are same so it is nothing but square root of 4 plus 9 plus 36 how the 4 has come it is 2 the whole square plus 3 the whole square plus 3 6 the whole square that is 36 so it is equal to square root of 49 that is equal to 7 now you are going to write the direction cosines okay so what is it x by r y by r and z by r here your x is minus 2 your r is 7 so it is minus 2 by 7 next one minus 3 by 7 next one minus 6 by 7 so if you consider this is the direction ratio the direction cosines are 2 by 7 3 by 7 and 6 by 7 so we have completed the direction cosines of the straight line passing through two given points okay so also what is the question is asked here find the parametric form of vector equation and cartesian equation okay of the straight line passing through two given points so two passing points are given what is the parametric form of vector equation so the formula is r vector is equal to a vector plus t into b vector minus a vector where t belongs to r so you should know the formula so this is the parametric form of vector equation of the straight line passing through two given points here you can consider a vector as so here the first point is given what is a vector the position vector of the first point so it will be 5 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 7 k cap and what is b vector position vector of the second point what is the second point 7 9 13 so it will be b vector will be 7 i cap plus 9 j cap plus 13 k cap okay so you have to substitute in this formula in the place of a vector you have to write this okay plus t into here what you are having b vector minus a vector so here 7 minus 5 that is 2 i cap plus 9 Minus six, that is three j cap plus thirteen minus seven. So what is it? Six k cap. 
okay or otherwise suppose if you have taken so this is the first point so you can take a vector as 7 i cap plus 9 j cap plus 13 k cap okay next your b vector is this so it's a point so b vector means you have to write the vector um, ocean vector so 5 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 7 k cap if it's so okay if you subtract b vector minus a vector you will get minus 2 i cap minus 3 j cap minus 6 k cap in all the terms what is common minus 1 is common if you take it out it will become here minus t t is any arbitrary constant so you can write plus t okay so either you can write this uh, equation or this equation both are parametric form of vector equation now what is the third one is asked Cartesian equation of the straight line passing through two given points. What is the formula? X minus X1 by X2 minus X1 is equal to Y minus Y1 by Y2 minus Y1 is equal to Z minus Z1 by Z2 minus Z1. Suppose if you have considered this point as X1 Y1 Z1, this is X2 Y2 Z2. So when you substitute, it will become X minus 5 by so what is it 7 minus 5 so 7 minus 5 that is 2 so which is equal to y minus 6 y minus 6 divided by 9 minus 6 that is 3 is equal to z minus 7 divided by 13 minus 7 that is 6 so you will get this equation or if you consider this as x1 y1 is at 1 and this as x2 y2 is at 2 you can write how you can write x minus 7 divided by 5 minus 7 so it will be minus 2 that is equal to y minus 9 divided by 6 minus 9 okay I have a y minus 9 divided by minus 3 which is equal to z minus 13 divided by 7 minus 13 that is minus 6 so you will have so in this also you can write here you see that all the term minus is minus is there so the in the uh, formula while you are deriving the formula so you will this all the terms is equal to some constant so we can write this equation as x minus 7 by 2 is equal to y minus 9 by 3 is equal to z minus 13 by 6. Both are Cartesian equation. You can use either any one. Okay. So problem number 9. Show that the points 2 comma 3 comma 4 minus 1 4 comma 5 and 8 comma 1 comma 2 are collinear okay so collinear means all the three points should lie in the same line okay so we have to show now all the three points lie in the same line so using the first two points we are going to write the equation of the straight line so you will have parametric non-parametric and cartesian form is there so here i am going to consider the cartesian equation of the straight line passing through the first point and the second point here two passing points are given so the formula is x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 so you consider this as x1 y1 z1 and this as x2 y2 z2 so you can write x minus 2 divided by minus 1 minus 2 is equal to y minus 3 divided by 4 minus 3 is equal to z minus 4 divided by 5 minus 4. So when you calculate it will be x minus 2 by minus 3 is equal to y minus 3 by 1 is equal to z minus 4 divided by 1. Okay, so we got the straight line. So now you consider the straight line is equal to so all the three terms which is equal to t. So from that you have to find a point on the straight line. Okay, so 
you have to find x, y and z in terms of t. So, you take the first term and equate to t. So, you will get x minus 2 is equal to minus 3t. So, x is equal to minus 3t plus 2. So, we have found the point on the straight line is of the form and the first term minus 3t plus 2. Take the second term and equal to t. So, 1 into t is t. The minus 3 when you take it to the right side it is plus 3. So, y is t plus 3. Next one. z minus 4 by 1 is equal to t. So, z minus 4 is equal to t. 1 into t, t. So, z is equal to t plus 4. So, this is any point on this straight line is of the form minus 3 t plus 2, t plus 3, t plus 4. Okay, you see that you have to prove all the three points lie in the same line. So, we got the line using first two points and from that line we will consider the point on that line. Okay, so when t is equal to minus 2, when you substitute t as minus 2, you will get the third point. So, the third point 8 comma 1 comma 2 also lie on the same line. So, now the first point, second point, three points lie on the same line. So, therefore, the given three points are collinear. Okay, you see now when t is equal to minus 2, when you substitute here you will have minus 2. So, minus 3 into minus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. You see the first term of the third point. And here minus 2 plus 3, what is minus 2 plus 3 is 1. And next minus 2 plus 4, so it is 2. Okay, so the third point 8 comma 1 comma 2 is obtained by substituting t is equal to minus 2. So, therefore, all the three points lie on the same line. So, therefore, they are collinear. So, we will come to the next topic angle between two straight lines. Okay, so angle between two straight lines is same as that of the angle between their directions. So, direction here means um, it is uh, depending on the parallel vectors. Okay, so see that here I have considered the two line. First line is R vector is equal to A vector plus S into B vector and the second line R vector is equal to c vector plus t into d vector. I have considered the two lines in the vector form. Here you will have, you consider the first line, see the first line, here you will have a vector and b vector. So, this a vector in the front, no parameter is involved, okay. But in the front of b vector, you will have yes. So, the, the, using the parameter, we can differentiate these two vectors. This first vector, without parameter is called the position vector of the passing point. The vector along with the parameter is called the parallel vector. So, while you are talking about angle between two straight lines, you have to consider only the parallel vector because angle between two straight line is equal to angle between their directions directions means you have to um, you have to find out the parallel vector so so two vectors how to find the angle that is acute angle we are going to find so we can use the formula cos theta is equal to modulus of b vector dot d vector divided by modulus of b vector and modulus of d vector what is b vector is the parallel vector of the first line okay and what is d vector is the parallel vector of the second line okay so otherwise the angle between formula angle between two straight line is theta is equal to cos inverse of modulus of b vector dot d vector by modulus of b vector modulus of d vector okay so now we are going to write in the cartesian form either any one of any one form can be used so the line is in terms of cartesian 
equation. So consider the first line x minus x1 by b1 is equal to y minus y1 by b2 is equal to z minus z1 by b3. And come to the second line x minus x2 by d1 is equal to y minus y1 by d2 is equal to z minus z1 by d3. So you are going to find the angle between them. So while you are talking about the angle between two straight lines you have to worry about the you have to consider the parallel vectors. So in the Cartesian form b1 b2 b3 and d1 d2 d3 they are the direction ratios of the vector which are parallel to the straight line. So cos theta here in the vector form cos theta what is in the numerator modulus of b vector dot d vector so dot product you have to take how to take the dot product so you have to multiply the same components so that's why here b1 d1 plus b2 d2 plus b3 d3 and here you see that in the denominator what you are having modulus of b vector how to find the modulus of b vector it is nothing but square root of b1 square plus b2 square plus b3 square next one modulus of d vector that is nothing but square root of d1 square plus d2 square plus d3 square this is equal to cos theta so from that theta is equal to cos inverse of you have to write the same thing okay so angle between two straight line formula is cos theta is equal to modulus of b vector dot d vector divided by modulus of b vector and modulus of d vector so using this formula we are going to do the exercise 6.4 fifth problem here you will have three subdivisions so first we are going to see the first subdivision find the ang acute angle between the following lines okay first problem two lines are given they are given in the vector form so what is asked angle between the straight line so vector form it is given so the formula is cos theta is equal to modulus of b vector dot d vector divided by modulus of b vector and modulus of d vector so how to the b vector has to be taken from the first line and d vector has to be taken from the second line and b vector d vector are nothing but the parallel vectors to the straight line so how to take parallel vectors from a line so how you can identify so the parallel vectors written along with the parameter so, okay so here from the first line the b vector is i cap plus 2 j cap minus 2 k cap so from the second line so this vector is written along with s parameter so this is your d vector so after taking b vector and d vector you see the numerator here what you are having dot product how to take the dot product same components has to be multiplied 1 into minus 1 minus 1 2 into minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 divided by what is given here modulus of b vector how to find the modulus of this vector it is nothing but square root of 1 the whole squared plus 2 the whole squared plus minus 2 the whole squared so that also plus 4 in the same way you have to find the modulus of d vector okay you will see the numerator minus 1 minus 4 minus 4 that is minus 9 divided by here root 9 root 9 what is modulus of minus 9 we are going to find the acute angle so that's why here modulus is used so modulus of minus 9 is 9 root 9 into root 9 is 9 so 9 9 getting cancelled your answer is 1 so cos theta is equal to 1 now the 1 can be written as cos 0 so therefore theta is equal to 0 come to the second subdivision so here the uh, look at the equation the first equation is in terms of the cartesian form and the second equation is in terms of the vector form okay so you need not rearrange the um, equations first you have to find out if it is in the cartesian form is given you have to check whether it is in the correct format that what is the correct format means x y and z should be 
positive so you have to check that here you will have x y and z are positive so we can use the same thing now you have to write angle between the two given straight straight line formula is cos theta is equal to modulus of b vector dot d vector divided by modulus of b vector modulus of d vector now you have to collect b vector from the first line and d vector from the second line so see this line is in the cartesian form so b vector means the denominator ratios we have to take so 3 4 5 has to be taken that is the direction ratios of b vector so b vector can be written as 3 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 5 k cap and come to you have to find d vector so d vector has to be taken from the second line which is given in the vector form so vector form d vector how it should be along with the parameter so here t is the parameter so t into is there so this is the d vector so after taking b vector and d vector so in the numerator you have to take the dot product and here you have to find the modulus of b vector and d vector so i have found it here it is 15 divided by square root of 50 into square root of 6 so it can be written as square root of 25 into 2 okay so square root of 25 is 5 so 5 root 2 root 6 can be written as root 3 into root 2 so 5 and 15 while you are cancelling you are here numerator you will have 3 and what is root 2 into root 2 was 2 into divided here you will have root 3 this root 3 will come in the denominator so this 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 so 1 root 3 getting cancelled so you will get the answer as root 3 by 2 so it can be written as cos 30 degree so cos theta is equal to cos 30 degree that is pi by 6 theta is equal to pi by 6 come to the third subdivision here the equations are given 2x is equal to 3y is equal to minus z 6x is equal to minus y is equal to minus 4z okay so see now we have to bring it both are in the cartesian form so we have to bring it in the correct form so for that x divided by this 2 it is in the numerator it can go to the denominator of the denominator so x by 1 by 2 which is equal to y by 1 by 3 is equal to z by minus 1 so we can use the fractions as it is otherwise for the convenient for the calculation so i am going to take the lcm 2 and 3 is 6 so the denominator is multiplied with 6 so what is 6 by 2 that is 3 here 6 by 3 is 2 Minus one into six is minus six. So now it is in the correct format of the straight line. So in the denominator only we have to take the uh, b vector. So b vector is equal to three i cap plus two j cap minus six k cap. So the same way consider the next line. It can be written as x by one by six is equal to y by minus one is equal to z by minus one by four. so to avoid fraction so take the lcm of 6 and 4 that is 12 so the denominator can be multiplied by 12 12 by 6 is 2 12 into minus 1 is minus 12 so minus 12 by 4 is equal to minus 3 so d vector is 2 i cap minus 12 j cap minus 3 k cap so why we have found b vector and d vector what is asked angle so angle between two straight line means we have to consider the parallel vectors we have taken it and you have to use either the cartesian form or the vector form here i have used the vector form so the formula is written here and you have to take the dot product in the numerator and the denominator the modulus of each vector has to be found so you will get here in the numerator your answer is 0 okay so zero by anything is zero the zero can be written as cos 90 degree that is pi by 2 so cos theta is equal to cos pi by 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 okay so we'll come to the sixth problem the vertices of the triangle of a of 7 2 1 b of 6 0 3 and c of 4 2 4 find angle abc 
ओके सो आई हैव रफ्ली आई हैव ड्रॉन द ट्रायंगल ए बी सी नाउ व्हिच वन हैज टू बी फाउंड यू हैव टू फाउंड यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द एंगल ए बी सी द एंगल ए बी सी ओके सो सी नाउ एंगल ए बी सी इज नथिंग बट द एंगल बिटवीन द साइड्स ए बी एंड बी सी यस और नो सो you have this is one line and here also you will have another line so angle between the two straight line is cos theta is equal to modulus of b vector dot d vector b, divided by modulus of b vector and modulus of d vector so you are going to find the equation of ab so you need not find the full equation here angle ku what is needed b vector and d vector so direction ratios of the line if you find you can write the b vector and d vector so you take the uh, direction ratios of the line joining a and b so that is nothing but what x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 or otherwise x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 here i used 7 minus 6 2 minus 0 1 minus 3 okay so you will get the answer as 1 2 minus 2 so that is b1 b2 b3 direction ratios of the line ab in the same way you can find the direction ratios of b bc so it is 6 minus 4 0 minus 2 and 3 minus 4 okay so you will get 2 minus 2 minus 1 that can be taken as d1 d2 d3 that is the direction ratios of the second line so you can write as a vector so using this direction ratios you can write as a b vector and d vector now you have to substitute in the formula you see that cos theta is equal to you have to take the dot product so 1 into 2 is 2 Two into minus two minus four minus two into minus one is plus two divided by the modulus of this vector square root of one plus four plus four and square root of the next vector so square root of two the whole square is four plus minus two the whole square is four plus minus one the whole square is plus one whatever it is you look at your numerator two Plus two is four. Four minus four is zero. So if the numerator is zero, the whole term will become zero. So this zero can be written in terms of cos as cos ninety degree. So here cos theta is equal to cos ninety degree. That is pi by two. So theta is equal to pi by two. So therefore the angle between sorry the angle ABC is nothing but pi by two. Thank you, students.